Hi YouTubers, this is Seabrew Productions here, coming to you with a much anticipated video. I'm so sorry that it's taken me a while to um, get this video posted up, but I've had a lot of users request and ask if I could do this video on showing them how to get an unlocked iPhone working on another carrier outside of AT&T. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you steps of how you can do it and also um, make it happen. Okay, so a few updates before I begin. Since my last video with my iPhone 4, I have sold it and I bought another iPhone 4. And I know a lot of you right now are like, why did she buy iPhone 4, then sell it, then buy another iPhone 4? Well, let me explain to the reason why. Um, in the last videos that I posted, my iPhone 4, although it was unlocked, and Joe broke it and I was using it on T-Mobile already. The difference is that it's brought in the US and as you may or may not know, in the US all US iPhones are carrier locked to AT&T. So that means even though you may in jailbreak it and unlock it, you have to, um, if something happens, it's not permanent. So if something happens with your phone, like if you need to update your, your OS or if you lose your information or something goes wrong and you need to restore your phone back to its original settings, you, you, you lose your unlock. So it's not permanent. You're relying on the software unlock. So um, what I did, I brought a factory unlocked iPhone straight out of Canada. And with this, I can use it with any SIM that I want. I don't have to worry about any hacks to, to make um my phone work and I love it now for the sake of many viewers I know that a lot of people are not going to go out and do the same thing that I did and I have my reasons for doing what I did but in this video I'm going to discuss with you how you can get your phone if it may if it is carrier locked to AT&T unlocked so that you can have it work with your T-Mobile SIM like how I did with my last iPhone and how I'm doing now with my current iPhone so Let's begin. First, I'm going to start out with um, some things that you're going to need. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to be needing is, of course, your iPhone 4. And you'll need to make sure that it's running on either software version 4.0, 4.1, or 4.01. And you can check that by going into Settings, tapping on General, tapping on About, and then scrolling down to where it says Modern Firmware. And you'll see your current firmware. You need to make sure you're running on either one of those three versions. Now, if you're on 4.2 right now, I'm sorry, this video um, is not for you because I'm not going to discuss that. They do have a beta release version that's out, but because it's not um, a public official release, I'm not going to discuss that because it goes into too much stuff that's still, yeah. Um, but anyway, so make sure you're running on either one of those three versions, 4.0. 4.1 or 4.01. Um, next, you'll need to have a little bit of background information on jailbreaking on and unlocking. Down in the description below, I'm going to put some information down there for you as well on how you can go about doing that. Um, the next thing you're going to need is a SIM card that you want to be able to use in your phone. And also, you're going to be needing a SIM cutter. Okay. Okay. Step number one is to first do your research on jailbreaking and unlocking. Google is your best friend. Um, this is where you'll need to get your information. In fact, I recommend getting your information from the iPhone dev team. I um, have a link down in the bottom with all their information. The iPhone dev team, they're bar none. I mean, they know their stuff. They're not about screwing around with people's phones and messing it up. They they come out with some quality stuff and they break everything down for you on their blog site about how you can go about getting the information, getting the unlock on your phone, and they give you all the tools that you need. So I'm going to list that there for you so you'll be able to look at that and get your phone unlocked and jailbroken so we can continue on with the next step. So after you go through all that, and once your phone is unlocked, the next thing you're going to need is your SIM card. And for the most part, they're standard, um, standard size SIMs. 
and um, I recommend that you get a SIM cutter especially this one this one is made by Nusi. I got this one off eBay maybe some good ones but this one I found is exceptionally good because I've cut a lot of sims with this and every single sim that I've cut has come out no problems um, haven't cut up the sim card thing it up now you have to be careful when you're searching for a sim cutter because you have some that may just jack up your sim card to where it's unusable and you don't want that so make sure you do your research on that I do recommend Nusi though um, it is the official sim cutter that they have out it's on eBay I got mine for eight dollars you may be able to find it cheaper um, but what you'll need to do is get one of those and it'll cut your sim down so that it'll come out like this to a micro sim it's the standard size sim that fits into the iPhone 4 and yeah that's pretty much it. Once you have that cut down, you pop that bad boy in there and you set. You got your phone on whatever carry you want. And as you can see here, I have mine running on T-Mobile. And just a little information on that. I love it. I love being free from AT&T. I travel a lot, so I need it. I needed a factory unlocked iPhone but for those of you that are just wanting to be free from AT&T and can't get a factory unlocked iPhone the software jailbreak is sufficient um, my experiences with it call quality is good I haven't had any problems with T-Mobile it's cheaper I'm using right now a $30 plan on it I get $1,500 text and talk which is perfect for me because I'm around Wi-Fi spots all the time the only thing is is that if you're not if you're in the US and you're using T-Mobile um, the band frequencies are different than AT&T so you'll find that you're stuck on edge so I mean if that's a problem for you then you may want to think about that before you you know, leave AT&T to go to T-Mobile. It's fine for me because I'm around Wi-Fi all the time. I personally find that Edge is okay. It's not extremely slow how um, some may make it out the same. Um, I mean, you notice a difference if you use like 3G or 4G service, but for the most part, I'm content with it and I'm happy. And uh, my apps and everything work superb, work like they would. So. It's a, it's a really good way um, to have your phone if you're trying to get away from AT&T. And of course, you know they have the Verizon iPhone coming out now. But still, if you don't want to be locked down to a CDMA carrier, you have options right there if you travel. So anyway, I hope this video addresses um, some of the questions that some people were asking me on here um, if you have any more questions feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you in a reasonable fashion once again I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and also uh, those that have been supporting my videos from day one okay so this has just been a brief video on how you can get this on your own um, and until next video as always peace out